Hello everyone, and welcome to the Movie Fanatics. My name is Brannick. Ah, the medieval period. Back when knights fought fire-breathing dragons and everyone was dying of the plague. Now, you might be thinking, Brannick, you're part of a movie channel. Why are you talking so incorrectly about the Middle Ages? Well, dear viewer, it will all make sense soon enough. So basically, way back in the day, a huge part of Christianity was chant. Chant was a very important part of worship, and one chant was Dies Irae. Roll the clip. Dies Irae, Dies Irae. Dies Irae means Day of Wrath, and it was normally used for funeral masses or a mass for the dead. This piece of music is really old and has probably been cited more than any other musical piece in history. For the most part, Dies Irae is about the Book of Revelation in the Bible. It's been used by composers to signify death, though. If a classical music composer wanted to represent death in one of their pieces, they would use Dies Irae. And in film score, it's used the same way. It's mostly subtle in a movie's score, but it's there more than you would expect. For example, we have the opening to The Shining. Then we have the original Lion King. Also in The Lion King, Dies Irae subtly frames this scene. So you haven't told them your little secret. Well, Simba, now's your chance to tell them. Tell them who is responsible for Mufasa's death. It's a Wonderful Life. Clarence! 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 Help me, Clarence! And in Frozen 2, Siren Call. All of these uses have a purpose. In The Shining, it sets up what's about to happen. <laughs> and then Simba is running for his life. Then Scar talks about Mufasa's death. And George wants to live again. Frozen 2's use is kind of unclear. It could be that... Spoilers! Skip ahead if you haven't seen Frozen 2. It could be that Elsa's mother made the call and she's dead? I don't know, that might be it, but it's here anyway. But one of the most prevalent series that uses DS Irae is Star Wars. It's here when Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru were killed. It's all over the third act of Rogue One, but here's one example. I also noticed it popping up a few times in the track Anakin's Betrayal from Revenge of the Sith. This track plays during the Order 66 scene. Again, this cue is everywhere, and I've begun noticing it in a lot of movies, and now, you can too! It's kind of like a Wilhelm scream, but you don't laugh when you hear it. But here's something interesting. This following clip is from the Rise of Skywalker teaser. So, is this Dies Irae? Well, maybe. It could be a reference, but it also is a variation on Kylo Ren's theme. The Rise of Skywalker teaser version sounds more final and climactic, like this is the last part of Kylo Ren's story, which the Rise of Skywalker is. But it could be a Dies Irae reference, and it would symbolize the death and destruction that Palpatine represents. Who knows? Maybe it's just supposed to sound cool. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button and subscribe if you didn't know about DS Irae before watching this. And if you did, do it anyway. This video was a little short, but me and Brayden are working on reviews of the Indiana Jones movies, and those will be coming out over the course of the next few weeks. Thanks for watching again. This is Brannick from the Movie Fanatics, signing off.